I've been busy working all night And I'm telling everybody I'ma get it right They know what I'm living like I've been busy going all out well, good morning, everybody. Today's a special day. Scoured through thousands of videos for uh, the contest of who I'm gonna stake in the main event. And here's how we are going to roll it out. Today, you're gonna have a look at three videos. What I want you to do to help me out a little bit is in the comments down below, just let me know who you think uh, I should pick to be one of the finalists. Because each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're gonna roll out Three specific videos, you're gonna tell me which one you like the best, those three are gonna make the finals, and then from those three, we are gonna pick a winner. So without further ado, let's take a look at today's three big videos. This is Diana from Naples, Florida. I'm sending in this video because man, I want this so badly. Love poker, it's my passion. Spent thousands of hours studying it online. I'm in a home game that I own with a bunch of guys who think I'm just really lucky. 20 years ago, I made the decision, focus on family. I've got four amazing kids, but I've got to put them all through college and I can't stake myself. Please, please, I would love for you to stake me. You know, my name is Marcus Mickelson. I'm actually making this video for my wife, Holly. She loves poker. She's a great cash game and tournament player. And she's been a stay-at-home mom for the last four years, and we just haven't had the financial means to make her dream come true to be a professional poker player. I'm really hoping you'll stake her on the World Series of Poker. As a bonus, she just became an American citizen on Thursday, so I'd really love to give her a, a great gift for that. Uh, so I'm hoping that you'll stake her, and I uh, hope to hear back from you soon. Thanks. Hey Daniel, my name is Tanya and you should stake me in the main event. I'm a second grade teacher and mom of three from South Dakota and have what it takes to win, skill and tons of patience. I learned to play mixed games at my grandparents' kitchen table for quarters and play weekly tournaments through the Free Poker Network. I've heard only 1% of players get a chance to play in the main event and I don't see that happening on a teacher's bankroll without this opportunity. You've always been my favorite player and to play under your wing would be incredible. Pick me and you'll make me feel as happy as my son when he won this huge pot in our family game. Tough to pick, right? I mean, I've been, that's been the hardest part for me, you know? I haven't been able to watch um, all the videos myself. I'm obviously playing, but I have a team of people that are, you know, skimming through them and get, giving me the best ones, and you know, all three of these, wow, tough to pick one. But let me know, guys, in the comments down below who you think I should pick. Uh, as for me, day two of the Stud 8 or Better today, super excited, as I've told you, this is my favorite format of poker. I really enjoy it. Last night, like I said, got heated with uh, Corey Zeidman and Phil Hellmuth and myself. And I mean, like I said, if, if Corey Zeidman's notorious and I checked around, like I know the story, like he does it on purpose. He slow rolls people. And I said, listen, man, I, I know it. I saw it on ESPN when you did it to Jennifer Harmon and I know your reputation. So I just called, you know, called the spade a spade, if you will. And he's allowed to do that. It's like, but you know, if he's gonna do it and lie about it, I'm gonna be like, no, you did, you slow rolled him. So anyway, that's in the past. Today we're gonna focus on um, playing real well. Uh, got 100k in chips. It's a slightly below the average, but uh, not too worried about that. In this game, a, a short stack stretches a long way. So we uh, already got the day started off right with a good old power shake. Lots of greens. I put what do I put in there? I put kale, spinach, parsley, lemon, ginger, some chia seeds, maca powder, some sun warrior protein powder. Also, uh, what else? I put a little banana in there. Give a little something, something. Look at that, a little something, something. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this.
Okay, end of the first break. We are still in there uh, fighting. I want to give you another hand breakdown. Stud eight or better. Okay. I raised with the jack of spades, and I have ace, deuce of spades in the hole. The bring in, Frank Casella, he calls with the five of hearts. On fourth street, he catches the seven of hearts. I catch the king of spades, giving me an ace, king, high, sorry, <laughs> an ace, king, high flush draw. He, I check, because there's no reason to bet against the low board. Uh, he bets the five, seven of hearts, 5,000. We're playing five and 10,000 limits. I call. On fifth street, he catches another seven, a seven of clubs. So he makes open sevens. I catch a deuce. So now I have deuces and the nut flush draw or an ace king flush draw. And I can also make aces up kings up a lot of good hands. So I call. On sixth street, I ca he catches the four of diamonds. I catch an ace. So now I have aces up and a flush draw. Pretty strong hand. He bets. He could be free rolling me because he could already have a low. He could have a straight, you know, you know, he potentially could have me beat. You know, that's always a possibility. So I just call. On the river, I catch the seven of spades. Really juicy card, considering he's got two sevens open. Doesn't look like he probably has a full house that can beat my flush. Even if he makes a flush, my flush is ace, king, jack, high. So it looks like I got a winner here. He bets the river, and I tank, actually, for a little bit. And I realize, okay, so if I raise him, you know, he obviously doesn't fold any of his lows. He's got half the pot. I could get him to call me with a couple worse hands that I scoop, like smaller flushes or uh, trips maybe. Uh, problem is, if he happens to have some sort of goofy full house, I have to pay two bets. So it's a really tough decision there whether or not I'm supposed to raise and call the re-raise or just call and give up a little bit of like value. I, I ultimately like to just call and lucky for me I did because he came out of the hole with fours full of sevens. He caught a four in the end. So he had sevens and fours and a flush draw himself on, uh, on going into the end and he caught on the end. So I saved 20K which is very, very valuable. Right now, I'm sitting on about 130,000. Average is 170. If I keep making decisions like that, though, kids, it will be tough to beat. Was just all in twice. Uh, Scoop Jonathan Duhamel twice back to 100k, which is half the average. But I was down to like 20,000. And you can see behind me right now, big pot, four ways to the floor. <laughs> so happy to just be alive. Okay, describing my emotions right now, I would say steamed up is a good fucking way to describe it. 50-50 to scoop a big pot. We are officially on the bubble. I was on the bubble of the, um, what was it? The, the last term I played, the horse. And I bubbled, now I'm short again. I don't know how short comparatively, but. So steamed up this game, man. Wee! <laughs> I knew that was coming. What's up, champ? What are you playing? Huh? What are you playing? A 1500 monster. Yeah? You know who Nick Suzuki is? No. Never heard of him? No, who is it? What about Cody Glass? Everybody else no. Is Never heard of him? No. Of <laughs> okay, yeah. they're the top two picks for the Golden Knights. What pick are the picks? And we got the sixth pick and the 13th and the 15th. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah. yeah, we did it. Cash number 100 next to this guy, huh? He was there for the first cash. Huh? Where y'all from? Oh, Daniel. Huh? Where's everybody from? Here's the man. Hundreds huh? cash. That's what I'm That's talking about. Up, yeah. Da. Wisconsin over here. Philippines. Save it, Daniel. Oklahoma. Okay, so we are on dinner break. Not gonna lie, the stress level after about 25 days, your level of patience for beats and you know your ability to like emotionally handle it gets more and more difficult, especially considering how many deep runs I've made. And uh, I've been on a roller coaster in this stud eight. Got it back up to 200,000, lost a few pots. And then the very last hand before dinner, literally the very last hand, an ace raises, I start with ace three five, which is a very strong hand. Um, 
I catch a jack, he catches a nine. He actually had a nine in the hole in pair of nines. Make a long story short, on sixth street, my hand is ace three five, jack seven seven. So I've got a pair of sevens, the low draw, the two pair draw, the everything draw. And on the end, uh, I catch what's known as the four across. And speaking of four across, I'm gonna teach you guys how to squeeze for those of you that don't understand what the hell that means. Four across means it's a nine or a 10. So it was a 10. He just had the two nines and beat me. So now I'm down to 35,000 playing 10 and 20,000 limits. Ah, uh, so it's gonna be, uh, it's quite a dinner break here. <laughs> I'll be a little steamed up, chilling in my trailer. I have an hour to uh, unwind. Sounds like a good opportunity to do some meditation. So a couple hands after dinner, I uh, picked up split kings with a 10 and raised. Um, Randy Ohel re-raised me with a 6 7 We got it in. I was all in on third. So I make kings and tens on fifth. He makes a low on fifth. Genius to my right says, chop it up. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'd like to, but except <laughs> then Randy made a pair of threes on six. And, oh, no, sorry, made a pair of aces on 6th Street, and then he made aces up on the river. So that's the end of my run. Very frustrating. My heart's boiling. Just like, I mean, not that last hand. It's just like whatever. But gosh, it's so frustrating to ever get knocked out of a stud eight. I feel like I'm starting to sound like hell to me. I feel like I'm, I deserved it. You know. So the plan now is to um, late reg the 3K PLO and try to run up a stack in that. Where's there, you're just giving me three chips? That's it? That's all I get? That's all you get. All right. We'll have so to find change to on the table. 128. Five. All right. Let's find it. Okay, okay, Anybody here have a job? Anybody? Job? Job? No job. No job? No job? Fuck. <laughs> Every time I sit down at a table, nobody has a job. You have a job? Oh, <laughs> it's brutal, man. Everyone at my table, not no jobs. I'm just gonna get it in. In here, what do you have? Kings and pens? I have the straight draw, the flush draw, there's the board over there. Okay, that didn't help us. Boom, boom, straight. All right, have a look. Making a little tea. How we doing, popcorn? <laughs> How we doing in the tournament? Okay. You doing good? I'm starting stuff. Me too, that's what I have, I'm starting stuff. It's kind of fun six-handed. Yellow. Huh? Swingy game. Definitely swing. You gotta get it in. I had 3,000, I had 30,000, and yeah. I had 15, and I had like 25, and now I have 15 again. Yeah. Alright, end of another day. I'm actually proud of myself. We're actually close to the money with 150 left. Um, and I was sitting on a sh really short stack for the whole time, but I actually tried. <laughs> I didn't, you know, just stick it in there, which is very, very like typical for a lot of people when they bust, you know, a heartbreaking event, they jump into another one. I'm one of those people that, uh, you know, you go into the next one a little bit rattled, but I, I'm very impressed with how I played. I thought I was very patient. I had a chance, you know, I gave myself a chance, really whittle down and say la vie. But um, yeah, uh, what can I say about that? That's about it. So end of another day, we will let you know tomorrow, guys which one of the mamas we're picking for the final three, and then we're gonna give you three more um, contestants for the seat that we're gonna reveal in tomorrow's vlog. So, wrap it up. One more day at the World Series of Poker, and I'd say this beard is pretty darn full. <laughs>